The radar scatter all over southern New England this morning. Is it going to uh, slow anybody down? Morning commute this morning, Michelle. No, you know, we make it through the morning. Most spots yeah. dry, but we are tracking some snow showers that are moving across Connecticut and now into the central part of Massachusetts. And those are just getting ready to cross into uh, Rhode Island. We've had a couple of flurries northwestern Rhode Island this morning, but it's this little batch that's approaching 395 that we'll be keeping an eye on as that pushes to the east. There have been some reports as this first batch of snow showers have moved through Connecticut of a little dusting on some of the grass and on the car top. So we'll be watching for that this morning. Again, it's all of that slides eastward over the next couple of hours. It's all part of a disturbance uh, frontal system that's going to move across our area from west to east today. Most of that snowfall you see over New York State, western Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire. And we just tap into a couple of these snow and rain showers here as the morning goes on. This is 10 o'clock in the morning. It's moving across Rhode Island into southeastern Massachusetts. Lunchtime conditions. You see some flakes flying. Now at the coast Sign, and warm enough to see some rain showers at the shore and some of that will start to stretch further inland. So as late as the school dismissal time, a rain or snow shower passing through and then the sky is tending to clear out this evening from west to east. So a early rain shower during the evening commuter snow shower and then the sky is clearing out after that. It's nothing significant. We've got our threat tracker in the green. Little to no accumulation from those snow showers this morning. Your Tuesday forecast during the daytime will keep the threat tracker low, but it heads up for Tuesday night. Now we're not talking about a major system, but it's several hours of light snowfall possible during the night from an offshore system that could give us a very minor accumulation. We'll have to watch for Wednesday morning's commute for some slippery spots. So a lot to talk about in that seven day forecast outside right now. We're feeling the difference in the temperatures running about five to 10 degrees cooler than yesterday morning at this time. Upper 20s, Providence 26 in New Bedford, 32 in Newport. So some snow showers passing through here during the morning hours and even into the afternoon, some isolated snow and rain showers a possibility. Temperatures will make it up to seasonable highs between 35 and 40 degrees, right near 40 in westerly with a rain or snow shower. Then further inland, middle 30s, Burrowville, Situate, Johnston, upper 30s, West Warwick at about 38 with a snow shower. And we'll see a chance of a passing shower in Fall River, New Bedford into the afternoon, upper 30s in Taunton. Skies will clear out overnight tonight. It'll be cool, but not frigid. We'll stay close to 30 degrees for our overnight lows. Then tomorrow, while it's dry during the daytime, clouds will be on the increase again. This is 8 o'clock tomorrow evening. So long after the evening commute is over, this batch of precipitation approaching from this offshore low pressure center as that races by on uh, Tuesday night and early Wednesday morning. Some snow and rain a possibility. We're thinking a period of snowfall even all the way down to the coastline before that race is away on Wednesday morning. So that's 630 Wednesday morning. You can see the timing of that moving out. Right now, we're, I'm forecasting about a coating to an inch of snowfall, and it's going to be a fast mover. It's fairly far offshore, and the temperatures are marginal. will fall to the upper 20s to lower 30s. So we'll wake up to potentially some slippery spots on Wednesday morning, but the majority of the daytime looks dry, clearing skies. Winds pick up in the afternoon, and the temperatures start to drop. Very short-lived shot of cold air. Wednesday night and Thursday morning. Thursday waking up to temperatures near 20 and a wind chill in the single digits. Now it's cold and windy all day on Thursday, but then we turn things right around for Friday. We're back up to nearly 50 degrees by Friday afternoon, tracking some rain showers moving in. A few scattered showers and very mild Saturday, upper 50s. A heavier rain possible Saturday night that looks like it'll come to an end through the first half of Sunday. We'll keep you updated on all these changes and your full 